Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Hello, and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading, titled Plans Disrupted, was written by Leslie Coe. Jane's plans to become a speech therapist ended when an internship revealed the job was too emotionally challenging for her. Then she was given the opportunity to write for a magazine. She'd never seen herself as an author, but years later she found herself advocating for needy families through her writing. Looking back, I can see why God changed my plans, she says. He had a bigger plan for me. The Bible has many stories of disrupted plans. On his second missionary journey, Paul had sought to bring the gospel into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus stopped him. This must have seemed mystifying. Why was Jesus disrupting plans that were in line with the God-given mission? The answer came in a dream one night. Macedonia needed him even more. There, Paul would plant the first church in Europe. Solomon also observed in Proverbs chapter 19, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. It's sensible to make plans. A well-known adage goes, fail to plan and you plan to fail. But God may disrupt our plans with his own. Our challenge is to listen and obey, knowing we can trust God. If we submit to his will, we'll find ourselves fitting into his purpose for our lives. As we continue to make plans, we can add a new twist. Plan to listen. Listen to God's plan. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Acts chapter 16, verse 6 through 10. Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. When they came to the border of Mysia, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to. So they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. Now, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to know that as your children, you have the perfect plan for each of us and help us to also know that we can rest in you with full confidence knowing that if we seek you first, we will discover our true purpose. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.